Hey guys, what's going on? Jeremy the France of Backstage Entertainment. Number two, we, yep. about a year ago, we, just about we, a year ago. Yeah. I remember it was in October, but Nat, Matt Noveski, Blue October. We were in uh, Sokol Auditorium. We're actually in the office area right now. Um, a year's passed. What's kind of been going on since then? Uh, just working. Working like crazy, actually. Yeah. Um, we're actually starting to delve into new material, which is always kind of my favorite. That's my favorite part of the whole process, is yeah. the whole creation process. So. So that's nice when we were rehearsing, we were doing that, but then of course getting ready for this tour. Now we're out here just playing a bunch of old songs, yep. which is a lot of fun. Like I said, we caught you a year ago at the Mid-America Center mm -hmm. over in Council Bluffs, and that was an October show. Is there anything with Blue October, is there anything special about October shows for you guys? Um, <laughs> is it just a normal day? It seems like that's our busiest month. It seems like okay. we're always touring or working in October. So there's that. And then it seems like it's always raining. It seems like yeah. everywhere we go, I'd say we had like three days where it didn't rain on this whole tour. Like really? every single day, it just followed us. Okay. Uh, a year ago, too, we talked about Any Man in America, the release, because uh, that was a couple months new when we talked to you the first time, and now, you know, it's been out for over a year and everything. Mm -hmm. Do you prefer playing those songs off of that latest album, maybe right after the release or when they've matured a little bit? Um, I think it's always most exciting, like right after you put them out, you know, okay. and this, this kind of goes with any, any band is like the, the most exciting stuff to go out and play and share with people is the newest material. Mm -hmm. That's just the way it is. And a lot of times bands don't want to even play their old stuff. They're like, oh no, we just, we're excited about this. But, yeah. um, you know, so there's that fine line of, of, you know, doing, uh, what you want to do and then doing, of course, what, you know, your fans are showing up to hear, but, um, I think that right after it's done, it's it's it was good for us to go out and play all the songs off the new record, yep. to do them all, you know, and then mix up some older stuff. But this tour is this tour is definitely way more of. I mean, there's I think we're only doing a three or four songs off the new record, mm -hmm. and it's way more about like you know the older stuff for sure. Right. We were talking before the interview that you guys have, especially when you come to the Omaha area, mm -hmm. is you have a busy day. I mean, a typical day. I mean, say what's what today has in store for you, your schedule that way. Um, well, wake up to about 50 emails that okay. need to be answered. Uh, and then um, we're doing a meet and greet. We're doing meet and greet right. parties this whole tour. So it's a jam-packed day. I mean, it's like, you know, my wife and I are, are lucky if we get to talk, you know, yeah. while I'm out here. and do a little FaceTime and whatnot and see the yeah. kids, but, and of course you but get it's press, busy. Press like us and everything, right, and right, you guys right. even go usually off-site and do some, you know, like acoustic shows or stuff like that normally, mm -hmm. um, anything like that today even? We actually, three of our guys are there doing one right now. Are they? So we're all kind of mixing it up. So you scatter when yeah, you get here exactly. too. Exactly. Multitasking. <laughs> uh, talk about this, I mean, don't hold back, because I mean, we caught you a year ago, interview questions that you maybe love or maybe you hate to answer. Um, I don't really hate to answer any questions the one question i think that gets kind of old of course is where did you get the name blue october i kind of just wish that uh that yep. question would go away but but it is what it is i mean you i think that it's it's understanding that you're going to have people that have never heard you before right and you know even though you may be sick of answering that question or a question like that that you feel like you've answered a billion times those people don't know right you know it's not like the whole world knows you know who we are or something so. by the way you can find that answer on our first interview so you're bashing <laughs> me here no, that, I mean that's I mean that's how it goes to sometimes because some people maybe not if you're maybe people look looking at this interview for the first time maybe just hearing of blue October maybe they want to know about that but yeah I mean we've actually shied away from even asking that because we try and do not just the typical questions but have fun during the interview right right you know? yeah totally. and yeah you just gotta set yourself apart I mean you can watch other interviews I'm sure for that answer or, read online forms, whatever. Well, that was our but first interview, exactly. so that's, that's okay. That's our Breaking okay. the Ice interview. Now I can't ask it <laughs> you again. You can't now. ask it again, though. <laughs> I remember uh, we, after we posted the video, we talked about a question. And you probably don't remember this, but you drew, we'll get into the BSC box here in a, okay. in a little bit, but you drew a question saying that uh, um, what bands do you love, hate to tour with? And we actually did kind of, some kind of name a band you hated to tour with, and we got... Oh, was people, it was funny because you rhymed it with something. And people were like, oh, I didn't <laughs> I get it. That, yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. We won't go in, we'll, we'll say, fans, if you want to see that answer, watch our first interview. But uh, I remember you said I was just poking fun, that's, you know, yeah. not to be super Because like, you said they were good guys. It just, oh, you know. they're all, all, actually some of the nicest guys ever. You know, I was mm -hmm. just, I think I was just joining the masses because I think at the time everybody was teasing them. Exactly. That was when... Um, there was something going on in Detroit. There was a petition for them not not to play at a, I think it was Lions Thanksgiving game or something like that. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. Yeah, so I think, I think I was just joining. Well, and I think you're That's talking about a different band than what we talked about in our first interview now. Um, 
You, you okay? Last interview. If you guys could watch it, you actually rhymed it with Rod Rack. <laughs> Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. No, 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 no comment. <laughs> That's right. So we'll, we won't get into that anymore. So, but yeah, I know we got a lot of comments on that one. So That's right. Was, I was thinking it was. What is that? Else. What? Is, you know, so like, hey, figure it out yourself. It so. took me a second too. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Wait, but yeah. we kind of oh. named another one. You're not too fond yeah. of. Yeah. Well, no, not that I'm not. I was like I said, I was. Just you know, I thought that's what I said, but yep. I was just teasing them. They're actually yeah. awesome. Yeah. They're awesome guys. Probably the most loved slash hated band. Ever. Yeah, and it's one of those things. I mean, it's like they, you know, they even make fun of themselves. You know, so oh, yeah. it's, it's just kind of fun to join exactly. in. Exactly. Anyway, back on Blue October and everything, we mm -hmm. actually went to our Facebook page, Backstage Entertainment, and uh, people have liked our page and actually submitted some questions because we said, hey, we're interviewing Matt today. You know, what, what did you want to know? So um, we have a few right now that, uh, uh -huh. I mean, just quick answers if you want, but uh, this one comes from Chris. Chris asks, ask them why they never play 2 a.m. Lovesick event to seven concerts and yet to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well, sure you get this all the time. You can't play all of your songs. Yeah, of and actually, I was just thinking about you know I was just thinking about that a couple days ago about how how many songs we actually have now because I was like, wow, we haven't played this song in a long time. Right. Well, we haven't played that in a long time. And then I got thinking about it, and we have a we have a really big catalog of songs. Exactly. You know, I mean, a lot of bands they do like two, three records, and then you never hear from them again. But we're just annoying. Like we're just we won't go away. You <laughs> right. know, it's like we're always there. Um, and we're always writing and always putting out material. So it's like you can't possibly, unless we put on an eight, ten hour show, we can't possibly do everything. But mm -hmm. um, 2 a.m. Lovesick is actually, I love that song. It's one of my favorite songs. Uh, and it's not real, there's not really any particular reason that we haven't done it. I think it just, just hasn't popped up on the set list. Yeah. And I know we were actually talking about it before this tour. So who knows? Maybe in the second leg of the yeah. tour, we'll. We'll bring it out. I'm sure possible. you get those requests even during the shows. People were saying, "Play this song." I mean, you guys have a set set list that you have to kind of stick to, but, right? Uh, right. You know, fans kind of don't understand that sometimes. So just to clear the air there. Right. Right. Um, next question. Erica asks, "Ask if they're coming to Australia, please." I tweeted them and didn't get a reply. Okay. Sad face. Um, you get so many tweets. You get so many requests. When are they coming to this town? It, you guys yeah. don't even manage your schedule. Well, I mean, again, all that depends on, you know, where the record is, is at and mm -hmm. where the record is performing. And Australia is just one of those areas that we have not broken into yet. You okay. know, we just, we just haven't done it. It took us a long time to get into Germany and in the UK, you know, and we're even still, you know, kind of just getting out of the baby band phase, you know, of that whole thing because we haven't been over, you know, well, I guess now we've been over there quite a bit, but it seems like it took a couple of years for us to, to kind of catch up, you right. know. Um, but Australia would be a whole new territory for us, and it ain't because we don't want to go. I'll right. tell you that. I would sure. love to. I mean, hook it up. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get some plane tickets. Let's exactly. go. I'm in. Just I want to do it. Happened that area yet? But we just yeah. We just haven't. Knows? You know, from a business point of view, I don't. We haven't broken into Australia yet. But we would not hesitate for a second to go there if exactly. we had an excuse. Okay. So Erica, be watching. That's pretty much what we're saying. Yep. <laughs> Amber asks, uh, favorite venue you've played. Um. This is gonna sound really cheesy, but I, I I loved the music box back in the day, which was here. Okay. Uh, that was just one of the coolest. I have so many great memories of of those times and playing there and our fans, and that was kind of like a second home to us because yeah. we we weren't doing a whole lot at the time outside of Texas except for in Omaha. So it was like we'd play a bunch of shows for like ten people, yeah. and then we'd get to Omaha and it would be sold out. Exactly. And then we'd play for ten people all the way back to Texas, yeah. and then it'd be good again. But it was like. It was it was just awesome because we would come up here and everybody would treat us so well and it was just, just yeah. great times. I missed that place. It was exactly. awesome. Giving credits to like 89.7 The River because a lot of people probably don't know that you guys got a lot of support from the Omaha area and them. Uh, Sophia just, John. Yeah, exactly. Straight up. I exactly. mean, she's, she has been she's been absolutely like i mean she's like a sister to us right. she's she really is exactly so gotta throw the love to omaha when yeah. you guys come back because i'm sure this tonight show probably sold out too so awesome i think exactly think it's close yeah okay and just a couple more here chris number sure. two we had a second chris on here uh when you go out on stage your very first thought and does that ever change or does that stay the same um it's always the same <laughs> and okay. it is is my guitar in tune that's the first <laughs> yes. thing i think yeah. every time i go out on stage and i have and i've been told not to do this actually um, by one of our techs a long time ago. He was like, I've got it. Trust me, it's in tune. Stop going and checking it as soon as you get out there. But I can't help it, man. Yeah, it's like this oh, obsessive sure. compulsive thing where I'll tell myself, no, it's fine. I'll go, I'll walk out and I'll step on my tuner and I'll double check it yeah. every single time. So I know that's probably not the most entertaining answer, but it hey, is the honest answer. What they want to know, though. Yep. 
Okay, our last one from Laura. She says, can they get me in tonight? Tomorrow's my 24th <laughs> birthday. You, get, you um, probably get a lot of birthday requests and stuff. So we it, do. Yeah, we'll see what, like, see what, what we do can do. do. <laughs> but happy birthday, yeah. regardless. Hey, we'll throw a sh shout to Laura. Happy That's birthday, awesome. Happy birthday, Laura. Exactly. So, hey, let's get into this fun part. We introduced uh, about a little over a year ago, BSC Box. We have a new look now. Uh, a few okay. weeks ago, we unveiled it for uh, um, a show actually here, actually in the basement here. But we have the skull now because going off our logo here. So let's uh, dive into these. And I remember last time we didn't, we just had the paper questions. We've upgraded and got them laminated. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. I like the box. I like the look. All right. Ooh, this is a good question. <laughs> I don't think I should answer this though. No, I want you to though. <laughs> um, okay, well, read it out loud first. It says, what's the weirdest thing a fan has given you? Um, You're going to keep it conservative on Well, this? <laughs> no, I'm not going to be conservative. I mean, the thing is that if I, it's the word weirdest is kind of tough because yeah. just because it's weird doesn't mean that it's not heartfelt and, right. and still matters or still means something. Okay. It's just kind of like, whoa, I wasn't expecting that. Um, I think the weirdest thing, honestly, is when somebody has a picture. I can think of a, a couple specific things, but the, probably the weirdest thing to me, honestly, is when somebody has a picture of you. Okay. And they want you to have it. Oh. <laughs> That's very strange to me. It's like, oh, okay, do you want this sign? And no, I want you. This is for you. I know that the intention's great and everything, right. but I don't want to go home and put up a bunch of pictures of me Yourself. playing on my wall. Like, I could not care less, you know? Okay. So it's just kind of weird. It's like, okay, why would I want a picture of. Give me a picture of you, yeah, you know? Right. That's cooler. So I think that's that's a little odd. You think it was a picture they took, though, that maybe they're proud of that are given to you? Or? Well, that is understandable because right. they're, it's their photography, exactly. and they're like, look what I can do, and that's great. You know, that's, and I, have, I do have a couple. I have a, you know, a couple that people have blown up into posters oh, and, and cool. things, and they're awesome, and I've, I've held on to every single one of them. But, but when it's just like a picture of you, like yeah. from something, you know, from a, like an article or something, it's like... <laughs> Here. All right, or they'll have you sign it and then they want you to keep it. It's very bizarre. I don't really know what to say. Well, to that. You don't it's have enough strange. autographs for yourself, huh? Yeah, <laughs> it's very weird. All right, well, no, we can. This is for you. We'll move on. We'll do a couple more out of this and then we'll. We talked about your busy schedule. I like so. doing this. This is fun. All right, good. Well, you go until you want to stop, it's, then you tell it's us. It's scary and exciting at the same <laughs> no. time. That's it. Have you ever done anything? <laughs> With another band member's significant other that you regret? No, can't say that I have. Easy one. <laughs> yeah, that's an easy one. I mean, but, you know, that's a pretty relevant question. I think that yeah. was probably more relevant back in the 70s when bands like Fleetwood yeah. Mac and, you know, all those bands were doing what they did. But, uh, no, we're all pretty yeah. straight up. We had an interview where uh, the answer was the guy said that he let the significant other help manage the band. And he didn't. Oh. Yeah. So it doesn't have to be kind yeah. of what we're thinking, mine in the gutter wise. But um, <laughs> no, not 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 that Nothing. I can think of. No. Well, that's good. Yeah. That's good. That's having a, good a no thing, for sure. You got a lot of them here. I know. We like I said, we've we've held contests, so anybody watching this too can like our page and get your own questions oh, in that's here. Great. So oh, this is a good one. What's something you've always wanted to do? Right. Go to Australia. There you go, Erica. <laughs> they're coming. <laughs> um, um, God, that's a really good question. I've always wanted to meet Neil Young. Oh, I'm a huge Neil Young fan. Okay. And uh, I've always wanted to get front row seats to a Detroit Lions game. Okay. I've always wanted to sit right on the field. There you go. That's, that's not gonna happen anytime soon, though. Huh? Goals, though. <laughs> Goals. Well, like I said, you tell us when to stop. Can I do mean, one more? Here we yeah, go. Let's do one more, and then the like, schedule this waits you. Part. <laughs> have you ever been in jail, and if so, why? Wow, that's a funny one. Yes, yeah. I have, actually. Um, Good, for the sake uh, of the jail, interview. Not prison, <laughs> jail. Um, it was actually pretty ridiculous, and it was, you know, I was young and stupid, and I had uh, too much to drink at a party one night, and... Uh, the police showed up, and I guess from what I heard was that I mouthed off to the police officer. Okay. Don't really remember that, and I woke up the next morning, and the funny thing is that we actually had a gig in Fort Worth the next day, so they were at my house waiting for me, but I was in jail, and I had no way to get a hold of them. <laughs> so I got out at about noon, 
first thing I did was run to the pay phone and call the guys and said, I'll be there in like 30 minutes, come get me. And they came and picked me up and we made it in time for sound check for the gig that night. And wow. it was a pretty funny story. Awesome. So. All right. Well, you've dipped into the BSC box for the second <laughs> right. time. Uh, last message just to the fans, you know, thanking them or anything you want to say to the fans out there. Man, thank you, honestly. I mean, I know that we say it all the time, but on this tour in particular, it's like, I think that, uh, first of all, it's a really great vibe all around, and the fans have just been awesome. It's been, it's been definitely one of the best tours I think we've ever had. And uh, um, it's not lost on us, the fact that we see a lot of the same faces that we have for years now, and people continue to come see us, or even if they've taken a break, that they're coming back out to see us. You know, the, yeah. the fact that we can go out and play venues like this and as many people show up as they do to hear us play, is, it's awesome. It means the world. So yeah, thank you. Well, then again, for the fans out there, Backstage Entertainment, as well as Blue October, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, we're both on all of them. Exactly. BSE is check out our skull and get to like us, and you guys can get your own questions in here. And, of course, BlueOctober.com, going to be your main hub for everything. And If I do one more interview, do I get one of these? Mm, I, I think, I think uh, you might have to, and <laughs> <laughs> maybe we'll put a picture of yourself on it somewhere right. so you have it, too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, once again, Matt Noveski, Blue October, definitely check them out if you haven't yet. Thank you. Hey everyone, make sure to like Backstage Entertainment on Facebook to see our photos, to enter yourself into contests for autographed prizes, and other news. Also, make sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube to check out the rest of our videos. And you can find us on Twitter to get updates about what we're doing. For Backstage Entertainment, this is Jeremy LaFrance.